Hey Lions, welcome to the LME Sports Network. I'm Megan Von Baren. 15th ranked men's water polo took games from WWPA rivals Cal Baptist and Santa Clara last weekend, extending their win streak to seven straight. Facing the Lancers on the road, the Lions' Milton Mitrovich had six goals in the 13-11 win. Back at the Burns Aquatic Center, the Lions looked to make a perfect weekend when they faced off against Santa Clara. With the game tied up four at the end of the first half, the Lions erupted with 10 goals in the second half to win the game 14-8. Six different Lions scored the first six goals of the game, and Emmanuel Destacio finished with a team-high four on the day. LMU will remain home to take on San Jose State November 6th and UC Davis in the last conference game of the season, November 7th. On the road against St. Mary's, Thursday marked another historical night for women's volleyball as head coach Tom Black won his 100th match with the Lions. The back and forth five set match ended with the Lions gaining their seventh victory in eight matches. The Lions continued the road trip at Pacific where they swept the Tigers in three sets. LMU is now eight and four in the WCC and 17 and seven overall. The Lions returned to Gersten Pavilion this week, hosting Portland on Thursday and Gonzaga on Saturday. Women's soccer embarked on its final road trip of the season, traveling to San Diego and BYU. The Lions took on USD Thursday night, defeating the Toreros 1-0. Shannon Kent provided the only goal needed in LMU's 12th victory of the season. On Saturday in Provo, Utah, the Lions faced a 2-0 setback against the 13th ranked Cougars. The Lions returned home Saturday for their final regular season game against Wells Fargo PCH Cup rival Pepperdine. Men's soccer returned to WCC action last week, opening play with a 2-1 setback at St. Mary's. LMU's lone goal came from John McFarlane early in the first half. The Lions bounced back Sunday with three different players scoring in the win over Pacific. With goals from Griffin Bell, Avro Madrigal, and Akio Otake Gordon, the Lions routed Pacific 3-0. LMU is back home Sunday for their senior day match, hosting WCC rival Santa Clara. Finally, postseason competition began for the LMU men's and women's cross-country teams, which traveled to Spokane, Washington Saturday for the 2015 WCC championships. The men's team took six overall, and the women placed fourth behind runner-up finish from Danielle Shanahan. We are now joined by the junior from Torrance to talk more about the meet. First of all, congratulations on finishing second. How, what went through your mind as you were crossing the finish line? Well, I was just happy to be done, get it finished, because it's always tough finishing a race, but um, I was happy to get the second place spot because there was a Gonzaga girl right on my tail the whole time, so I knew I needed to get the points for my team, and I was happy I was able to accomplish that. Each year you seem to finish this meet stronger than the last, so talk about how that momentum will carry into regionals. Yeah, well, we still have two weeks left, and I've been slowly getting into shape over the season and I'm really excited to get in two more weeks of training and just be able to compete in regionals with such a really packed competition because the West Region's super competitive so I'm excited to get my nose in there and see what I can do. Being an upperclassman this year how has that um, outlook changed for you going into meets based on like the competition knowing your team more how has that affected this year? Well our sport's so based on um, every year you get more fit and more fit and more fit and just knowing that I have that much more fitness with the whole other year training and a bigger base it's really like comforting knowing the going that into competition that I can just put my notes up in there with the best of them and just compete well good luck this year at regionals Thank thanks for watching this week for LME Sports Network I'm Megan Von Baring.